Manchester. And although the sun shone brilliantly when the Australians took the field, a pile of sawdust stood close to the wickets. Now that's pessimism. As at Lord's, the English innings was opened by C.F. Walters and Herbert Sutcliffe of Yorkshire. A huge crowd cheered Sutcliffe when he opened off McCabe. On a pitch that was a batsman's paradise, in spite of the bowling of Wall, Grimmett, McCabe and O'Reilly, the score crept up until with a four off O'Reilly, Walters reached his 50. When he'd added only two runs to his half century, Walters was caught by Darling, 68 for one. Of O'Reilly's next ball, the English skipper was clean bowled for a duck, 68 for two. Hammond punished O'Reilly's next delivery by pushing it to the boundary, but O'Reilly took a quick revenge by dislodging his bail's next ball. Three wickets with four balls, good work. England, 72 for three. Patsy Hendron, now batting, helped Sutcliffe, who scored 63 before being caught, to stop the rot. Hendron was caught and bowled O'Reilly after scoring 132. The second day's play. O'Reilly, who's bowling, took every wicket yesterday, and now he's after Allen, who's playing extremely bright cricket, and has just reached his 50. At the opposite end is the hero of the last Test, Verity. He helped Allen to add 95 for the ninth wicket. Allen went and Verity was joined by Clark. Then came the declaration. 627 for nine, a record for test match score in England. Now England take the field against the Australians, who with sickness, the heat and the long day in the field have a difficult task to face. Their opening pair was Brown and Ponsford. Brown opening to the bowling of Clark of North Hents, who's playing in his first test match, by the way. Brown batted confidently, quite unworried by Clark. He and Ponsford seemed to be well settled, and at 34, Hammond came on for Allen. Ponsford, now facing Clark, was brilliantly caught in slips by Hendron off Hammond's second ball. McCabe then joined Brown and played out time their score at the close of the second day's play being 136 for one. A useful start, but nearly 500 behind the English total.